Hi everyone. So I wanted to look at another proof of the arithmetic geometric mean inequality just to give you a sense of the variety, the many different ways you can approach something like this. This is a particularly nice one and it comes from a book called Proofs Without Words uh, by Nelson. I'll give you a full link to the, to the reference. It's filled with pictures which, if you look at them the right way, are proofs of all kinds of different facts in mathematics. And this is uh, Nelson's proof without words of the arithmetic geometric mean inequality. So I've tried to, this is the, this is the proof. It's this picture. So I, let me see if I can explain the picture. So the picture is we have a, um, we have a circle. This is, a, this is supposed to be a circle here, half circle anyway. And uh, it's got diameter x plus y. So here's the diameter, it's, it's x plus y. So its radius is x plus y over two. So this is x plus y over two. This is the average of x and y. So here's the radius. And then I have inscribed a triangle uh, whose uh, hypotenuse is the diameter of the circle. So we know from Euclidean geometry, so this is another uh, thing that you have to take for granted in this proof, that this is actually a right triangle um, because it's, it's inscribed in the circle. And so in principle, we know from Euclidean geometry that that forces it to be a right triangle. So we'll take that for granted. And basically the claim here is that the altitude, the height of this right triangle um, is square root of x, y. And the radius of the circle is x plus y over 2. And so just look at the picture. It's obvious that the square root of x, y um, is less than or equal to x plus y over 2. So that's the proof without words. Now, the thing about proofs without words is that there's a lot of unspoken words. And of course, the big unspoken word for me in this is, is what, you know, why is this really true? Why is the square root of x, y, why is this altitude really the square root of x, y? I'm not going to work this out. Um, you can think about it, uh, but uh, you have to use a little geometry, but it is true. So um, this is another uh, kind of elegant way of, of demonstrating the arithmetic geometric mean inequality.